There we go. Ah, uh, Sega. Company that everyone should know. And Sonic Team. A team that most people probably know. What are we playing? We're playing M Eggman. We're playing Eggman. Definitely playing Eggman. Playing Eggman sticks his foot up Sonic's butt. 2007 edition. No, we're not. We're well. We've got Sonic and we've got my favorite character, Tails. And we've got Knuckles. And we've got Empty Bus Seat as well. We playing Sonic Advance. Oh wow. As if I don't have enough games already going through, um, as an LP and stuff. Alright, let's go to options. Alright, level is normal, time up is on. Uh, sound test, language is English. We can set it to English or Japanese. Let's set it to Japanese so we can't understand anything. No, I'm absolutely lying, actually. I am able to understand most of what it says, but then again, that's because a lot of it is in English in the bloody first place. Okay, but really, though. Let's set the language back to English. And... Game start. Let's play a Sonic. And since we're doing this game, let's do it from the beginning. We're gonna be playing as all four characters eventually, so... Don't freak out that I'm playing as Sonic instead of who I would normally be playing as, if that's not obvious. Who I'd normally be playing as. We're gonna play Sonic here right now to show the basics of this game. It's, well, a typical Sonic game. And as such, playing as the main character is probably going to be helpful. If we can get up. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Bam! There we go. Okay. Spikes. There's a platform there. And magnetic shield. Okay. Run, run, run! Alright, so I'm not gonna go for the Chaos Emeralds right now on this run-through. I will show where the special stage locations are and how to do the special stages eventually. But I'm probably not going to do it right now, and... That's for the simple reasons that I actually don't know myself. Uh... I know how to do the special stages in Sonic Advance 2 and Sonic Advance 3. Sonic Advance 1, however, is a little bit of a trip. Uh... And really, I'm just messing around in this stage as kind of a placeholder, really. There we go. And... we got a 1-up. Collect 100 rings, and you get an extra life. So, the enemies in this stage... There's quite a bit of range in the enemies in this stage, actually. Uh... And... The stage is beaten. That's cool. But, like, they've brought in a lot of, uh, like... They've brought in enemies from the Dreamcast game, and have some new robots and stuff, like the monkeys and trees are kind of like upgraded versions of the monkeys that would throw grenades at you in the Dreamcast games. And we've got, well, new versions of Buzz Bomber from the Genesis games, and we've got frog things, and we've got crab meat. Crap meat, and we've got, uh, the rhino tanks from the, uh, Dreamcast ones as well. I actually do have the rhino tank from, uh, Sonic Adventure. I think the Rhino Tank appeared in Emerald uh, Coast Zone, if I remember correctly. Uh, God, I can't remember, and also, if you haven't guessed, I don't particularly care. Uh, you know what? I care about that rail, though. One thing that's kind of glanced over is rails. They're not nearly as, uh, 
common in this game or as important as they are in some of the later games. I know rails are really a big deal in uh, Sonic Rush, but that's because they made grinding so much easier and not restricted to just one character as well. Because in this game, only two characters- actually, only two characters are uh, allowed to grind on rails. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna come to the Brooklyn Bridge- no, this isn't the Brooklyn Bridge, this is the Golden Gate Bridge. This is San Fran. And Dr. Robotnik's running away. Soaking this music. Okay, now let's go. Uh, the reason why I'm playing this game, actually, is because this is the, uh, first Game Boy Advance game I actually, uh, played, majorly. Um, I remember back in the old days, Target actually had a, uh, commemorative event for the Game Boy Advance and stuff. A, uh, Get in the Game event, I think it was called. And it was really neat, because I got this nice little, like, uh, carrying bag and stuff, and I got, uh, I got this game as well, and got things like a uh, beanie hat and uh, various other things. It was really cool, and stores don't really do that kind of thing anymore. So, I'm not, I'm not gonna preach that the ways of old are much better than the ways of new, but I mean, things like that. I do miss those times. Anyway, those rings, screw them. Screw the rings, we have money. Well rings are money, but I mean, that's like saying, screw the money, I have rules. Alright, so we... Yoosh! There we go. Those ropes are a little bit tricky, but it does require a bit of patience. Which is odd in a game like Sonic, where the levels are designed to make you go fast. Um, there is a bit of a technical platforming, like... What am I saying? Technical platforming. As in, like, I don't know, some of the jumps in this in this game are a bit more... You have to kind of slow down and pay attention to what you're doing. You can't exactly do it on one try sometimes and such. So, come on. Alright. Uh, hook. Cap and hook. There we go. Got a one-up. But yeah, this game did a lot of things for me back as a kid. This was, well, it was a Sonic game, and I grew up with the Sega Genesis, or Sega Game Gear. And I knew a friend that owned a Genesis. And man, every time I'd go to that friend's house and stuff, I'd just, like, play the hell out of the Genesis, because... I mean, the only Genesis game I actually knew that he, that I, uh, played constantly was the original Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'd go over to his house and occasionally, like, he had a lot of video game systems. He had, like, the N64, and he had, uh, he had a GameCube, and we play Super Smash Bros. Melee on that. Now, his parents were a little bit stricter and stuff, so they wouldn't let him play, uh, T-rated games. And back in elementary school, part a lot of the games that I played were actually, uh, T-rated games. Like, I grew up playing Tony Hawk. Like, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 on GameCube, woohoo! And, honestly, that was a great game. Now, I'm going to admit that a lot of the- I mean, I don't know, as much as I don't want to come across as somebody who just values nostalgia more than anything, I do want to admit that I don't really find as much satisfaction in playing more recent games than I do with games I played as a kid, like this. Then again, a lot of games I played as a kid, I mean, I was, I was just a little kid and they were new experiences to me, like, I didn't know what a Nintendo system was until I got the Game Boy Advance, I mean, I grew up on the game year. My idol in life was pretty much Sonic the Hedgehog and stuff like... Now, I'm not gonna say that I wanted to be like him, because 
I don't want to be an anthropomorphic blue hedgehog, but I mean, like... It was just the fact that he was a good guy. And the Sonic series wasn't, like, violent and stuff. I mean, it did have its share of seriousness at times, but I mean, it was a fun-loving series. And you don't really see that many series like it anymore. Now, that might be for a good... for good reason, seeing as the, uh... direction that Sega's been going in with the quality of the Sonic games for some of them. Alright, so... Go, go, Gadget Spring! Alright, and boss beaten! Okay. Alright, Sonic got through Act 2. But, yeah, there are a lot of things that... I don't know. I like my childhood, and I know a lot of you probably don't really care about, uh, like, my personal stories and stuff, because, I mean, why would you? I'm, I'm a guy on YouTube, you've never met me before, and if you have, I mean, well, if you have, it's kind of a, uh, torn case and stuff, like, you might find me enjoyable and you might not. I mean, I know there are some people who've met me in real life and stuff that don't find me enjoyable, and... There are some people who know me in real life that do find me enjoyable. I mean, it's all subjective. That's really what I'm trying to get at. I mean, some people find me an annoying twat, and other people find me to be one of the best guys and I mean, one of the, like, best friends and stuff. I mean, a lot of people agree that I'm mostly a funny guy and stuff, but I mean, like, I know, I've always, or at least recently, I've just thought of myself as kind of a stuck-up, selfish, whiny jerk, but I mean, I've been through a bit of my life, I mean, honestly, it's, I mean, I'm in high school, so really it's nothing to get, like, get my underpants in a bunch about and stuff, but I mean, I've been through a couple of, of experiences, I've been through heartbreak, I've been through pain, I've been through surgery a couple of times, I've cracked my head open a couple of times and stuff, and I've... What I'm... I, I've been through a bit. Now, I'm not gonna say that my life is particularly ho hard. Hard. My life isn't particularly hard either, but I mean, my life isn't particularly hard or anything, I mean... I'm in a fairly good... I mean, I'm in a pretty good fam- I'm in a great family. And I've got some good friends as well, and... I mean, I just feel kind of selfish and stuck up sometimes, I mean... I don't really want to be that way, like... I want people to think of me as a nice guy, but... A I want people to think of me as intelligent as well, and... Anyway, I'm not even commenting on the level design at all. Back when I was a kid, I only saw the, uh... Preview image for this. Like, I stopped after Zone 2 for some reason, and... Saw the preview image for this zone, and it had conveyor belts, so... I thought this zone would be a factory zone at first, and... I remember as a kid, I would always... And even as, like... 18 years old now, I still occasionally will come up with the uh, lyrics to video game music and stuff, and I came up with all these lyrics to this music thinking that this was a factory level, and it took me a while, and took me in, when I played it to realize, oh, this is a casino level. And I'll tell you what, even though I claim to, gro to have grown up on the uh, Sonic games and stuff, I mean, there's still a lot of things in Sonic games that I didn't become familiar with until a bit later in my life. In somewhere in elementary school, that's when I started playing Sonic a bit more. Like, I had known of Sonic, and I'd played through Sonic Adventure uh, 2 Battle. 
you know, the uh, Sonic Adventure 2 remake on GameCube and such. But anyway, we're coming up to a boss here. But I mean, it didn't start playing the uh, Genesis versions of the Sonic games a lot until, like, I know, elementary school, like, late elementary school. And of course, my first reaction to playing these o the older Sonic games is just like, this is what I have been missing this entire time. Man, I love the old Sonic games. I mean, not that m a lot of the new ones are particularly bad, like... Certainly, there are some stinkers of the Sonic games and stuff, like that one on the Xbox. Or Xbox 360, I guess. And Shadow the, he Shadow the Hedgehog was alright at times, but I don't know. I really don't like the direction they went with Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, some people can claim that makes me, oh, it makes me a nostalgia fag and a Sonic purist and stuff, and I'm just like, no. It makes me someone who didn't quite like Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, it's not much wrong with the character, oh, I died. I mean, it's not that there's too much with the character that's wrong, like, I remember back in Sonic Adventure 2, I really liked Shadow as a character. He was a good foil to Sonic. And it was good to see kind of a rival-type character for, uh, Sonic, really. Now, I realized later that, oh, Sonic already had a rival-type character and stuff, uh, Knuckles from Sonic 3, for instance. But that was back in the times when I didn't think of the Sonic series as anything complicated and stuff, and... I don't know, I don't like it when things get too complicated. When I need, like, a degree in advanced nuclear sciences in order to figure out what the hell the storyline is all about. I mean, that's why I play a lot of games, like the Mario games, for instance. Mario always keeps it simple. There's a princess who's been kidnapped by a giant turtle. You must go and defeat said giant turtle for great justice. Okay. Come on, Eggman. Fight me like a man! There we go, be a man, Hogan, be a man. Anyway, we've covered three zones here, so... Really, I don't want to keep this video going on for too long. That is a kind of a time-eating boss fight and such, so... I'll save you guys the trouble and cut this into parts here. And we'll go on to the next video. Or next zone, I guess. So until then, this is Tones Frogger signing out. Stay tuned.